I'm still a little disappointed with myself because I have yet to make a vlog this week, but things just haven't worked out. I didn't really get enough clips or film to really put something together, so it is what it is. But today is going to be different. Today I am going to make a vlog. Uh, so good morning. It is uh, about 6.50 a.m. I'm going to try to get to work a little bit earlier than normal today. There's a training that we're going through, so I want to be there on time, not be late to that. Uh, what else? Nothing unusual. I didn't get to see Cal much last night because we went to a work dinner. So I'm looking forward to getting off work this evening, hanging out with him. I don't know, man. I don't think enough there will ever be enough time with my with my kids or my wife. Um and maybe not everyone feels that way about their family, but I do like, I, there's just not enough time ever. I don't think enough time will ever be until I can spend every day with them. And I know that's probably unrealistic, so. I don't know. But I do miss them when I don't get to spend much time with them. I really, really miss them, so. I'm excited to see them this morning and then later this evening. I'm going to work out today. Um, like I talked about while, maybe in the last episode, I talked about how um, I kind of switched my workouts up. So I'm at the end of my training split. So I did a, um, I did total body rest, total body rest. Then I did upper lower. So today, um, I'm going to call this like kind of like my, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe my active rest day, but really I'm just going to do something fun. So I'm just going to plug an arm day, specifically an arm day, into the workout uh, or into the training split. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll start the training split again. Uh, today will be kind of hypotrophy focused. I'm, I am going to do a little bit of circuit training and then go into kind of the more of the bodybuilder-ish hypotrophy focused arm stuff. And it'll just be kind of a fun workout day. Uh, but nothing too intense because tomorrow I'm planning to do total body and it will be some deadlifts and uh, some more higher intensity stuff. So that's a plan. I'm going to get to it. I was worried you blow my reputation. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you make it, Michelle. She's Mama's calling for you. I'll see you when I get home, buddy. Love you. Bye. All right, here we are once again. Beginning of another day. Getting ready to head off to work. Say goodbye to the family. Everyone seems to be doing well. Hopefully today goes good. About halfway through the work week. I do have to work tomorrow night, which is Nah, but uh, we're almost to the weekend. I'm ready for the weekend. Alrighty, uh, work's over. So now I'm headed home. There's talk of like another work dinner tonight, um, but no final decisions have been made. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go home, see the family, and if I get word that there's a dinner and I can make it, I'll go. Just kind of play it by ear. Uh, I made it home, and I also just got a text that they are doing, or work is also having a dinner at 6 p.m. However, however, it's 5.30 right now. So I think I'm just gonna sit this one out tonight. I've gotta work tomorrow night. I've got to work early Friday. I didn't get to see Cal last night. I was late getting home on Monday, so I think tonight family's definitely coming first. Hey, let's play. <laughs> Cal. Hey, Cal. Are you, are you glad dad has home? What? Huh? Where are you going? 
Por... <laughs> she... Oh, oh, watch out. Where's your nose? Show me where your ear's at. Okay, fine. Do you like it, Cal? Throw a nose. What are you eating there, buddy? That looks like a yummy brownie. Uh, I think there's five pieces there. Do you like brownies, Cal? I'll go five on that. Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh, end of the day clip here. Uh, I'm glad that I stayed home and didn't go to dinner because I got to hang out with Cal, Kelsey, and Kyler, and that was really good. Um, today was like a, you know, nine out of ten, just a normal normal day uh but like to to have a more like serious kind of sharing session here i guess to end the day um and my main reason for sharing this is because i think i think and i also secretly i think personally hope that i'm not the only one that sometimes struggles with this and if you've watched this vlog or watched any of these videos i've made You'll see that lots of things in my life are very r repetitive and routine. Um, and while I very much like the structure, um, I guess when I was growing up, I mean, I'm not super old, I'm only 24, but I guess when I was growing up in high school and even in college still, I had this like hope maybe or belief, maybe belief's a better word, that when I got into adulthood and I was in the world doing stuff, I would be doing these like really big, exciting, fun, interesting, engaging things. And that just hasn't been my story yet. Uh, my life is marked by routine and a lot of monotony. I love my kids. I love being a dad. I love being a husband. I love my wife. I would not trade that part of my life for anything. But there is a part of me that sometimes becomes impatient or frustrated with the rest of my life, that everything feels so blah sometimes. Um, and not necessarily like in a completely negative way, it's just you're, that feeling of like, you're not where you thought you were gonna be and then Couple that with the concern that maybe you missed the boat, like maybe you missed, you didn't get on the train that was supposed to take you where you were supposed to be and you don't know if that train's ever coming back around, if that makes sense. Uh, and while like my mindset isn't always there, like I don't spend all my time there, I think it's just natural to kind of vacillate sometimes and I don't know, that's just how I feel at times. Um, and I think sometimes it's good to feel that way because I think that's, those feelings are what drive me to like continue to find ways to get closer to where I think I wanna be um, or where I hope I, I wanna go or where I feel I need to be. Uh, those feelings of like missing something I think are, are are also motivating while they're also kind of like a place for somewhat of reflection and pause and concern they're also sort of a driving motivating factor too so it's, it's kind of like you're pulling from both ends at the same time uh, but yeah not to not to bring anybody down but maybe you feel the same way um, if you do let me know uh, but at the very least maybe you'll take some comfort or contentment knowing that other people, or at least me, uh, feel the same way at times too. Like I said, I love my wife, I love my kids, I love my family, I love all that stuff. That part of my life is awesome. But I think growing up I felt like I was destined to like do big, awesome, memorable things with my life. and. And maybe that's just like part of your youth, your naivety, like you just build things up bigger or have bigger expectations than 
than maybe what the world really is. I mean, if that's the case, that's the case, but, uh, maybe one day it will be different. Maybe one day I'll be able to look back at these videos and be like, okay, that's the, the monotony and routine and discipline and taking care of responsibilities that I did in this period of my life allowed me to get to here. And that's one of the main reasons I'm making these vlogs is so uh, I'll have something to look back on in 40 years hopefully and maybe my kids in 80 years and maybe their grandkids in 120 years. Hopefully digital video is still a thing um, or whatever medium. Hopefully this can be, can be, uh, can be moved and adjusted to fit the technology. Anyways, I hope you guys had a great day. I don't mean to end on a low note. Uh, I just think it's it's practical to acknowledge that we all have those moments of peaks and valleys and just as much as we need the peaks, I think the valleys are important as well. Uh, they're kind of like a necessary evil in a way. All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next time I make a video.